Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be uh, talking about some uh, sneaks of a game that you guys may or may not have heard of. Uh, and this game is called Feudal Life. Um, I have recorded this uh, game in my uh, channel beforehand. I have a couple of videos on it. Uh, and if you guys are unfamiliar, this game used used to be perm it's still permadeath, but uh, back in the day, back in the day, you know, it's I mean it's not that old, but it was a really good uh, game to play. It was my first ever permadeath game I've ever played on Roblox, and it was super fun. Had a ton of fun. Met some people. If I if I haven't played this game, I don't think I would be here right now as like a YouTuber, but. Yeah, that's that's how much history I have with this game. But enough of that. Let's uh, talk about what's happening now. Uh, a feel so feel life has gone through some changes. Paid access, it became free, and it changed. And I did uh, sponsor it back then as well. Now, Feudal Life is undergoing a new change, and this this one actually seems like it's gonna rack in those players. So. I actually want to show you guys some sneak peeks of what has is what has and will be changing in the game and uh, mostly just the pictures uh, you can check it out in the update log if you guys aren't in the discord I'll leave the link in the description you can check it out there but uh, we're just gonna be looking at the pictures this time so this is all we're gonna have to go off of let's start with this one and uh, something new I believe uh, key binds custom key binds uh, blocking is F I do believe I don't know if this is key binds but hopefully they're key binds is this it says bind here so I believe they're key binds <laughs> yeah and uh, let's continue let's continue and these are actual stats you have title block oh. oh my bad title block the block the control it's a skill and uh already uncommon so this is weird i don't is this control tree a tree of all your skills because if it's displaying the skill name like that really does make me question and wonder okay but uh very interesting you actually get to see more information about like the cooldown and whatnot so that's there let's move on to the next picture we have uh books you can read books and i believe it's uh, corresponding with this picture. That book is actually a book of a skill called Book of Air Pressure, which allows you to learn most likely air pressure. Type skill, rank C. Kick hard enough to create a visible shock wave. It knocks the target back. Takes zero space. That's nice. And uh, yes, we have no more food. I was surprised when I saw this, so uh, we're not going to be able to eat. I, I don't know how we're going to heal. But he did. Uh, the creator of this game did say that he wants to make this more PvP driven than in the previous uh, renditions of the game. So you can see that we have basically an experience bar for uh, souls, money, we have energy, and uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, crowns? That's probably kills or something if it's a crown. And you can see air pressure right here, health bar, no more food bar. But yeah, we don't have any more hunger anymore. No food bar, so I don't know how that's going to work out. The game that we used to hunt to cook cooked meats to eat for energy, I don't, I don't, I just don't know how where, that, where that's all going to go. Let's move on to the next picture. We have nine more souls required to break through to F rank. So this, I guess this is an indicator for each rank you have. Um, he already has 11 souls, so 20 souls to get from F rank to E rank. Okay, let's continue and see the next picture. So now this is uh, the class system. We have here a uh, monk. Oh, so you have controls and then you have uh, your class which is then a drop down for all the skills you have there. So this is basically a skill um, index or skill codex or something, something around there. So you can bind um, all these to keys. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. I like uh, what he's doing here. It actually makes the game feel more fleshed out and streamlined towards, you know, PVP, which he's trying to make the game focused on. Now, uh, this picture, okay. I don't know what's going on with the health bar here. I don't know if it's overheal or it was just, you know, uh, in development. But 
we see here that uh, there's a book of Phantom Slice that you can pick up off the ground. So you can find books off the ground and learn skills, or find them in various places and learn skills. That's uh, interesting. Now, um, oh yeah, he is uh, the developer of this game is gonna use Midori Island, the map that I you know first played Feudal Life on. Uh, for this update, if you guys are unfamiliar with what Midori Island is, it's it's basically the flagship island or flagship place of Feudal Life. A lot of things happened there, and hopefully he's gonna put big tree. For those of you who understand that, leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, so Silver Tonto changed the UI a bit. Like the, I think the UI got a full rework, except for the you know leader stats over here. But other than that, pretty pretty good. He has different clothes on. You can see um building in the back there, the river, the bridge here. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so this is he's so he's just pinging everyone here. Let's see what has changed. You are protected from all incoming damage in combat in elite. Okay. This book of Tonto Throw, okay. So this is the quest system. There's still bandits, even though it's still gonna be mainly PvP, there is still like bandits that you can fight. Okay, so I guess this is just a um, preview preview of the game that there's still um, quests and stuff. And like I said before, the health bar here, there's still something like that on um, a lighter shade on the health bar is still there. So let's continue on to the next picture. Deities subject to change. So this is a system and the deities are subject to change. Feudal life, tell us about yourself, gender, male, female. What deity do you follow? Sun Deity, Moon Deity, Sky Deity, Sea Deity, Nature Deity, Darkness Deity. Are you sure? Save changes. So this is uh, this is what you see in the beginning that you will never be able to change again. Actually scrolling through the Discord, I did find the message in the announcements. That 36 uh, City aka Martini aka the developer of the game said that the Deity system you will be able to change in game. But the gender, that's locked once you uh, do it. And yeah. That's that's actually interesting. I wonder how that's gonna work out. Let's see the next one. Clan master. Okay, clans are also faction locked, meaning only the people that follow the same deity as you do, as you do, may join your clan. Okay, so this is gonna change how clans work in the game. So you have to be the same deity, uh, worship the same deity to, or follow the same deity to join the same clan. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna, you know. I don't know, it's controversial right now. Like I said, if you want to join the, join the discussion, you can join the Discord. Let's uh, see here. Unknown being. Okay, I don't know if I can read this. I'm just going to try my best. He is the one before us all to say his name goes a gen uh like okay against the laws of the world goes against the laws of the world okay unknown being i don't know what this is uh some more mystery and lore but um yeah you see exclamation point question mark but this is all the uh sneaks sneak peeks we have of the game so far tell me what you guys like and what you guys are hoping to see in the release of the game the game is releasing within the coming weeks so no need to worry about that and yeah if you guys have enjoyed the video you know what to do come like subscribe but with that said i'll see you guys in the next one